All right, I am turn seven for Albion, Land of Fairy. The um, Auberon's Expedition still hasn't come in yet, so uh, this will be the fourth time I roll for it. I need a seven or less. Just haven't been very lucky with it with the elves. Uh, where uh, victory point wise, the uh, the fairy player is at one thirty seven. The Fomorians one twenty three. So the Fomorians, you know, had the advantage early, and they destroyed some you know some of the elvish you know castles, and then they withdrew. Uh, because, again, you don't want to do too much damage. If this combined total equals 400, both players lose. Um, so it's always kind of a guess with the Fomorians. How much damage should I do before I disengage? If you just keep running over the elves, um, you know, that, that total is going to hit 400. Both of the elves you're killing, and you're also obviously going to suffer casualties along the way. So that's kind of really what the game, you know, the big decisions in the game is. You know, how far do you go um, before you pull back? And I don't think the Fomorians went far enough, obviously. They're behind now, and, and they pulled their armies and navies back behind, you know, up into Scotland. You know, the humans are down here. Um, this is, uh, they've been beat up pretty badly down here. And so, you know, now it, it becomes a question of what are the Fomorians going to do? Um, unfortunately for them, Donatus is here with the staff, and he can just do all kinds of nasty things to them. He can take use, uh, take control of their leaders and force them to kind of commit suicide. Uh, he can create vortexes, which he did, and, and damaged a bunch of ships. So he's really nasty. In addition, a big stack of mages here um, for the for the ferry. They're going to go look for these magic items. And if they, especially Dana's Torque, uh, if they can get that to Donatus or, or whatever, they can just start wrecking fortresses uh, from their homeland. So the Fomorians really need to do something now. They need to go back on the offensive. They're going to have their fleet ready to go. It's all refitted. Um, so they're going to have to think about, you know, do they want, where do they want to attack? I'm guessing they're going to want to attack in Ireland. Um, that would be the closest, so they could quickly move troops over there. Maybe try and destroy the uh, the elf fleet here. We'll have to see if the um, and, and maybe they want to destroy the that fleet before Oberon's expedition comes back. Anyway, they got and they got the worm here could actually swim out and, and do some damage. However, they got to wait and see uh, what Donatus does with his enchantments. He can't reach even though he's he's tw uh, he's double twelve eighteen three five seven eight. Yeah, he can't reach their fleet up here. And I think, I remember, that's why they parked back here. So he can't hit them with a vortex anymore. Um, so anyway, this is uh, this should be an interesting last couple of turns here. Um, like I said, the Fomorians are going to have to attack. The humans here might have to go ahead and engage. The problem, again, though, is if as long as Donatus is here, once the humans leave their fort, he can use that mind control spell. Um now they get a savings throw, and this is actually kind of part of the errata. So like uh somebody like Magog could make a savings throw. Um so it's not necessarily that he would be taken over. But they they may have to just come on out um and engage here as well. So we'll see what they do. All right.